Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Nazi Factory, guys. In today's video, I want to actually give you guys my thoughts on this free education thing, guys. You know, I actually wanted to make this video back in December when, you know, uh, President Jacob Zuma made that uh, timely, you know, decision, you know, during the NC's elective conference, guys. But, you know, certain forces, certain entities did not allow certain things to happen, guys. So, uh, now in January, now people are getting ready to start school. People are starting school. Uh, high school's opening, primary school's opening, guys. Varsity's are just about to open in the next two weeks, guys. And I just want to share my thoughts on the whole free education. Guys, we know that President Jacob Zuma, you know, gave us that announcement during uh, December, you know. Uh, just just to swipe still, I think. You know, I think he knew that because I was not going to win. So, he decided, you know what? I have one more gun, you know, for 2017, I'm just going to take that one gun out and just, like, brrr, everywhere there at Nazareth, guys. So, you know, the president told us that, you know, free, uh, higher education, higher, higher education and tertiary, uh, will be free. That education will be free, essentially, the government's going to help students, you know. Uh, you know, they told us about certain thresholds, like, you know, um, uh, if family, if families uh, earn a combined income of under 350,000 rand, they'll be covered. You know, things about first years, not a lot of information about, you know, uh, st returning students already. Uh, just a whole lot of confusion about that. So guys, my, my only concern with the entire whole free education thing is that, guys, where is this money going to come from, guys? My main concern as well is the sustainability of this free education guys now also being told that this thing is going to be phased in you know it's not going to be a very much immediate thing and then actually in the statement if you read the statement uh he, he spoke about uh what you call um the first year is being helped more as opposed to you know returning students the students that are already in so that begs the question what's going to happen about historical debt what's going to just happen about students that are already in the system as is forget about the kids getting into the system uh we got information about tvet colleges how they're going to be helped out and stuff like that it's just guys when you ask the question where is this money going to come from suddenly you are this ungrateful type of student who are you to ask where this money is going to come from? The minute the finance minister will sort that out. Guys, wherever Malusika Kapo is, he's sweating because of that. He does not... I'm sure he's there crunching the numbers with the entire team and treasury. is just like, God, like, where? Where is this money going to come from? Like, you just don't go tell people, find him money. Whereas there's no money. It's like an empty box, like, make money. I don't know where, guys. You know, it's the type of thing, guys. The economic situation that we're in in South Africa, guys, um, it's just, it's not allowing, guys. When you have under two percent growth really year and year for like i don't know the past five years or something it just doesn't allow guys first and foremost guys this free education for, for, for the poorest and the most destitute in our country guys those who can afford should be able to just pay that money definitely no stress about that it's just when you are just sustainability guys i just don't want this to end up becoming you know um just the whole thing zuma just did this to swipe little or if it eventually kind of, you know, works out, or then Zuma's going to, like, Zuma Legacy, even though you're just risking it all of this, guys. We can't be playing with such, such games. People are playing their own games up top, and students are actually going to suffer just because somebody is trying to show somebody a lesson, you know. Um, I, I, I'm, I was just very much concerned about the timing as well of the release, guys. Why during the ANC's National Elective Conference, um, you had all the time before that, in between the time you actually released that first statement regarding the whole free education thing and the hair commission findings. Um, he had all the time to do that. I'm very surprised that our president did something like that. Uh, guys, at least the one positive thing about this is that, you know, people are actually now, at least I, I think for most students who are coming from very uh, less privileged backgrounds, I'm, I'm sure for them it's kind of like a bit of a relief. There was someone on TV at that Capricorn, uh, TV college saying that I would have gone to a private um, uh, Technicon college, a uh, private university or college if it wasn't for this announcement. But, you know, this thing has to come to fruition, of course. It's not just... Uh, sort of just magic everyone's gonna be helped so, something like that guys you know it's just so many of these things guys and it's just that the students are gonna get affected it's not gonna be the guy in parliament sitting there uh who's gonna have to discuss them they're gonna have to like discuss this thing probably like guys does this make sense melissa gabba also gonna have to look at it come the time for the budget speech like where is this money gonna come from he has to prove to the country and the nation investors everyone worldwide is gonna be looking at it and say like where are these, what are these guys doing and where they're gonna get this money for the certain project that they want to push guys definitely the government should Definitely, you know, subsidize higher education, you know, tertiary institutions in our country. It is needed. We need to educate the, our, 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 our population, guys. It can't just be playing such games and, you know, and allowing people telling us that uh, university is a privilege, guys. Get the fuck out of here, guys. So, guys, let me know what you guys think about free education, guys. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to like, comment, share, guys. Do the right thing. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Sure.